The Flying Scotsman celebrates its 100th birthday this year. But did you know that the Flying Scotsman had a rival? And the rival is what we're going to be focused on today, the Great Western Railway Castle Class Steam Locomotive, which is my favourite steam locomotive. And today we're going to be seeing two of them on a rail tour down to Dickup Parkway, and we're going to see four of them at Dickup Railway Centre, because the two that are on the charter today are going to Dickup Parkway to line up with two other Castle Class. So this should be a stunning opportunity to see four Castle Class locomotives in one picture. So I'm waiting for the 0653 West Midlands Railway Service to take me to Birmingham New Street. So as you can see we're at Birmingham Moor Street Railway Station now this train departs at 0815 which will take us to Leventon Spa Station. The Castle Class steam locomotives which pass through Moor Street because they're starting at Birmingham Snow Hill to head to Dickcart Parkway, they leave Snow Hill and they pass through Moor Street 7 minutes after I leave Moor Street and when they get to Leventon Spa they'll be 15 minutes behind this train that I'm on. So let's leave Moor Street and head to Leventon Spa. So we made it to Leventon Spa Railway Station. We're going to get the Great Western Railway Castle Class locomotives passing through here. There's a good turnout here as well, which is good because honestly, C2. Castle Class steam locomotives is a historic moment. Like in August 2023, they'll be celebrating a hundred years. And it feels really nice to be part of this celebration of a hundred years of the Great Western Railway Castle Class. Anyway, let's see them flying through Leventon Spa Railway Station. This should be epic. really nice that was. I went over to platform 2 to catch it on the other side. Luckily nobody got in the way but that was just brilliant to see. Now unfortunately I can't get anywhere between Leamington and Dickcut Parkway because it's running non-stop to Dickcut Parkway. So I waited for the 0941 cross country service. I've literally got a 40 minute wait now to get to Oxford. So this is a full coach train, so this is going to be rammed. So we're now made it to Oxford Railway Station. And before I get into why that cross country service was rammed, I forgot to mention which castles passed through Leverton Spa Station. 7029 Clunk Castle and the returning 5043 the Earl of Mount Edgecombe. That cross country service, let's talk about it because what happened is there was an old crossing issue north of Dorridge and it was cancelling some Chiltern railway services. So the staff at Leverton Spa was basically telling people board the cross country service to Reading and then change at Reading to get to London that way to London Paddington. Mind you, they could have changed to Oxford and got a Chiltern railway service to London Marleybone as well. So that's why that train was rammed. But four coaches though to bore us, seriously. Anyway, glad I'm off that train now because I wait for the 1037 Great Western Railway Service to Dickert Parkway. And then we can go see those castles on display.
have now made it to Dickot Park where the steam locomotive is currently shunted in position at the Dickot Railway Centre, which is just right behind me actually, just right there. So we're going to be in there shortly to get some photos and take a look at the Dickot Railway Centre. But I think I'll just hold off for a bit and just wait here at Dickot Parkway Railway Station. So we're now on our way to the Dickert Railway Centre. I'm joined by somebody actually. Hello, yes. Tico's here. Hello. Coffee shop. I'm here everybody. Happy New Year. Hello YouTube. Yep. So we're ready to cause some chaos at the Dickert Railway Centre. You know what Centre. that means? It's Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> That is just awesome right there. Four Great Western Railway Castle Class D locomotives. From left to right we've got 4079 Hedge Edge Castle, 5043 the Olimat Edge Club, 5051 Just Noon Castle and 7029 Club Castle. I've just seen all four lines up, that is just epic, really epic. No, I should not forget this time, Tico. What's that, Simon? Well, I definitely should not forget about the Pallier Tank locomotive right here, should I? Yes, like you did at the Autumn Steam Gala last year. Yes, I did. <laughs> So we're at one of the demonstration lines. We're at Oxford Road, not Manchester Oxford Road. Yeah, no, it's not Manchester Oxford Road. Oof. No, this is Oxford Road. And we're going to take a ride on the 41XX up and down the line. So we're just going to go on the demonstration line, right behind a steam locomotive for a little bit. Hey! So right behind me here is Ted Dennis Castle 4079 and next month it will be attended the Seven Valley Railway Spring Steam Gala. And you'll be there, will you Tico? I will be there and you'll see me in Simon's video. Yep. So I have booked the day off work so I'm going to the Seven Valley Railway to take a ride behind this beautiful locomotive. And That's mate. Hello. Hello. Hello, we've got Jake and Jenny here. You alright? Yes, I'm good, you. Yeah, it's alright. And Tico's still yeah, here. 
and this is Jay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> standing side with Jay. Bumper. Yeah, tea cozy, yeah. Yeah, man. Anyway. We shall be heading back towards Birmingham soon because we're going to chase the two castle class back towards Birmingham. I have got two locations planned, but I'm going to head back to Dickcock Parkway yeah. Railway Station to explain more. So we're now back at Dickcock Parkway Railway Station. I'm going to catch the 1406 and go to Radley Station to get the castles flying through there. So it's about time to say we call by Tico. Bye everybody. Make sure you subscribe to his channel, Tico Sprinter. Yeah, you will get vlogs, ventures. 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 Ventures, Tico Trains Ventures. Live stream, train simulator, the whole lot. Yeah, anything train related, it'd be on Tico's channel. Anyway, I've got to board this train out because it's going to be leaving shortly. Hi everyone. See you Tico. See you Simon. So we have made it to Radley Railway Station. Now I've got roughly about a good 50 minutes before we catch the steam locomotives passing through. They leave Digcut Parkway at three o'clock and they pass here about 10 past three. That was epic to see those Great Western Railway Castle class passing through Radley Railway Station. Got a little busier but we still managed to get a good shot. Now my train is arriving in a second but the plan is now is to go to Oxford on the 1515 Great Western Railway service to Oxford. Change to Oxford to get a train to Leverton Spa, cross country service. Hopefully it's more than four coaches. Then we're going to go to the, from Leverton Spa to Solihull on Chiltern Railways and then from Solihull get the West Midlands Railway Service to Acox Green. We're going to meet up with the Great Western Railway Castle Class locomotives at Acox Green. But hopefully I should pass them at Banbury. Is my train coming in right now? Yes, it's just pulling in right now. So I'm going to board this train and head to Oxford. <laughs> This is a uh, Crunchy Nut Cornflake, is it? Hello, Crunchy Nut Steam Films, it's fine. <laughs> Almost right there. Yes. <laughs> I had better ones actually in uh, Bergen last year. Yes. Because I was um, in Bergen with Tico Sprinter. So you've been chasing the castle today, haven't you? I have indeed, yeah, mate. I've been in the Dickon Railway Centre, had a superb day. It has been a good day in the Dickon Railway Centre. What's not a good day is, is that the train, the cross country service, is running five minutes late. And it's a four coach train again. So this is, I think this absolutely is going to be rammed. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we made it to Banbury and the double-headed castles are literally just right there. Now I'm going to be catching a train at 16.12. It is literally coming into the platform right now. And we're going to head to Solihull on this Chiltern Railway service. So we now made it to Solihull and honestly I did say I was going to change at Leamington Spa but that cross country voyage was the same unit I went down from Leamington Spa to Oxford this morning on. It definitely was a four coast train, it was definitely rammed again. So we decided to change at Banbury, caught up with the two castles there and we have overtaken them and they're sitting at Dorridge right now while I'm at Solihull. So I'm waiting for the 1717 West Midlands Railway Service so we go to Acox Green and get these steam locomotives flying through Acox Green. That was awesome seeing those two Great Western Railway Castle class locomotives passing through Acox Green. I can finally tick that off my bucket list seeing a steam locomotive at Acox Green. Now I was scheduled to leave here on the 1739 West Midlands Railway Service to head back into Birmingham. However though it is running about seven minutes late. It can't be a snow hill line adventure now without a train running late. So that's due in at 1746. Now I can either go to Birmingham Snow Hill or Birmingham Mall Street to get the empty stock working back to Tisley. More likely though, I think I'm going to go to Birmingham Mall Street to get it passing through there. So we've got the empty stock working through Birmingham Mall Street Station. I'm going to head back to Birmingham New Street Station now to head back to Rushi Town. So 
So I'm now back at Rugy Town Railway Station. Seeing those four Great Western Railway Castle class today has really been brilliant. We saw 702 line Clunk Castle with 5043 the Earl of Mount Edgecombe on the main line, chasing up, up and down from Birmingham Moor Street to Dickert Parkway and Dickert Parkway back to Birmingham Moor Street. And we also saw them in the Dickert Railway Centre with 4079 Pendennis Castle and 5051 Drissenden Castle. And honestly, it has really been an epic day seeing those four castle class steam locomotives all lined up at the Dickert Railway Centre. And also had a look around at the Dickert Railway Centre. We met Tico Sprinter, I met Jack Boskett, I met Jake Bonner with Jenny and Crunchy Nut Steam Fan. I think that's right. And there's also been a lot of people I've spoken to today as well. And I just want to say thank you. It has really been a great day. I'm going to list the video right here. Please do give that a good click. It's another Steam video. I've been Simon Trains. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you on the rails for a new journey.